Welcome to Switcher Chats, music interviews brought to you by Music Matters with Daryl Craig Harris and Music Tribes Unite. Una, how are you doing? You're in Calgary today, right? Yes, that's right. Hi, Craig. Hey, so we've known each other for a really long time, and uh, your mother was a singer with Cirque du Soleil here in Las Vegas I used to play with. That's how we first met. And uh, since then, you've gone on to really create a really interesting music career. You have had several releases. Um, your Spotify is rocking really hard right now. And you have a new release that just came out. So um, how are things in Calgary? And you're actually moving, I should say, too, to, to Serbia, I think, right? Yeah. Um, Calgary was supposed to be a two-week trip that turned into the best home I've had for six months. Awesome. <laughs> so... That was an experience in itself. And I think the music world here is really nice. People are open to working, creating, and it's just a really fun energy, high vibrational city here. And Europe is going to be definitely interesting to reconnect with my roots and see if they even like what I have to bring. Yeah, oh, I, I think they will. And you have, um, what's the name of your newest release that's set on Spotify? Um, it's Akashic Records featuring Charmé. Awesome. And you have a number of different releases and they're all kind of kind of in the same vein, but also very different. I love the new release is great. Um, yeah, you have a guest, a guest vocalist on there. And um, so you kind of got started in, in actually in Montreal, the music scene there. And I know they have a really huge arts scene. How, how did that happen for you? How did you get started going into to creating and DJing and music and, and all that stuff? It's always been there. That's what I kind of realized. So that's the long story. But really, I got rejected from my dream school, my dream college. And I got early acceptance in another one called Vanier College. And that's actually the best thing that ever happened to me because at Vanier College, they had an already well-established DJ booth with amazing equipment. And so that kind of propelled me further into the electronic side of music because I had seen like a studio I was really into making like festival edits on vine <laughs> I hope nobody goes searching for those but um <laughs> yeah that booth was really it 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 was amazing it was a blessing and I quickly realized that I would need also producing not just mixing so that was really it. What were some of your early influences? I mean, obviously, you had some mentors there, too. We can talk about that. But also, influences, collaboration. What, what's that been like for you? That's always a tough question, because I like to draw my inspiration from really as much as possible. I'll always learn as everything, because everything is energy. So I think that comes together, and I create my own like patterns. But really like in the EDM world, it would be Avicii who has sadly passed away, but I think he still has such a big impact on the music even today, so. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, there's so many awesome people, actually in Vegas too, we have a lot of people that have residencies here, which has become yes. a really, yeah, really big thing. Um, and you've been in Vegas, but it was many years ago when you were here, you were still, I guess, kind of a, a little girl, that's how I knew you. Um, <laughs> And uh, so and moving to Serbia and the European music scene, which is really interesting. And that, that's kind of when I heard your music, that kind of reminded me of that vibe. It's definitely different, I think, than the States. It's a different kind of take. What was your idea about moving to Serbia? And, and, and are you excited to kind of find some collaborators over there to work with? Yeah, I think they'll be so open to collaborations and just creating art to just create art, right? So that'll be a nice atmosphere to be in. Um, I know they're a lot more into the commercial side of music, but even their commercial music is so, <clears throat> like a lot of instruments that you don't regularly hear in our regular pop and radio music. Right. So it'll be very interesting. Yeah, do you find, um, I know on this this newest release, um, you had some collaborators, and I think you, you actually worked with one of your mentors. Can you tell us about that process? Yeah, that was 
again, another blessing. And I was showing my mentor, Proto Hype, some songs for our class. And he was really getting into this one. I had to tell him like, hey, our class is over. And he was like, man, I was really getting into this. When are you releasing this? And before that, I never even thought about releasing. I didn't think I was ready. So it's really thanks to him. And he said, why don't you get Charmé, which is his girlfriend, to sing on that? And she was, a prof she is a professional singer. So it took me like two months to get the courage to decide like, okay, I'm going to release music and I'm going to ask her to collaborate. And it all worked out really well. It aligned perfectly. Awesome. Yeah. And that's, I mean, music, as you know, it's sort of a process. It's fun to listen back to the stuff you did when you first started. And oh like, we all, yeah, we all have like those old recordings. I'm like, uh. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, yeah. are you, are you, are you comfortable with that? Or and you can really see the progress even, even on your Spotify page. It's like really fun to kind of see your different releases. I love to hear that. Cause that was kind of the goal with putting out all of those songs. I definitely knew that it was maybe not the best move because those are actually some of the first songs I have ever produced. Um, really, really some of the first 10 songs I've ever produced. So yeah, it's a big but set. To it, yeah, but they're awesome. And I, I think, like I said, what's neat about it is you can really hear the the progress, the changing, maybe like as you're learning, you're, you're kind of like, oh, I can go this direction. I can go that direction, which is one of the great things about music, right? Yeah, I think it keeps that authenticity to show to that I'm not just coming out into the music industry with perfect music. Like, it's a whole journey. I think an artist is always in the state of becoming. You never really arrive anywhere. So to really show that through the songs that I'm putting out is good. And I really am glad that you heard that, too. Yeah, and I, exactly. I think that as soon as you stop learning is when you kind of you kind of wither. So it's, yeah. it's nice to and it's nice to be challenged. And I think even by being in Serbia, being, I mean, there's some great music happening over there. A lot of really exciting stuff. When I was in Croatia, I was checking out the music channels and I'm like, man, this is really neat. And it's it's people that are great, are huge stars there that we've never heard of. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even just like entertainment wise with the companies that they have going on for the events i know there's people picking you up at the airport and planning the whole night for you so it's really like it's not just the music it's the whole night scene and how can we uplift all of that and the whole industry right. over there so i think i'm going to learn a lot about what i can bring over here and vice versa so it's a lot of learning that will be amazing and then you're gonna um you're, before you go to Serbia, you're gonna be going back to montreal for a bit too what, what's the studio you work out of there um just my my father's home but i oh, have okay. all my equipment um but it's just a small space and i have all my equipment so i'm gonna use it as a studio space because i'll be alone for two months so i think that's really key if you're mm. in a good head space mentally physically and spiritually and you have a, a safe place to create I think that's where the best results come from. So I'm looking forward to that. Right. Yeah. Your dad's a neat guy. I remember, like, I mean, I haven't seen those, I haven't seen him and geez, it's been many, many years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's yeah, and in he, Serbia now. So, uh, okay. I was so, going to say, yeah, he, cause he's he, right. He's Serbian. Awesome. Um, how can people find you online? Um, I'm currently mainly on Instagram. So Mad Nix. And I'm getting more into the YouTube world and TikTok. So those are my three main platforms that people can find my stuff on. For music, of course, Apple Music, Spotify, it's all on there. Right. And then we'll put, all, I guess we'll put all the links um, and how people can find you on the video and on the podcast. And um, yeah, people should check out, check out what you're doing. It's really fun. I'm excited. To, I know you, when's your next release? Cause it's actually, you have stuff you're working on right now, right? Yeah. There's one last song for the eternal blossom collection. It's uh, let's plug in the, the name exclusive little release here. It's called felt the escape and it'll be out on the 28th. So I think that's, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So people can find that on all your outlets on Spotify for sure. And um, yeah, we were just talking too about doing some, you have some YouTube, um, lyric videos and i know you're working on that so that's that's also that's really been popular a popular thing too for artists i think 
Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do as much as possible on my own and right. dance videos too. I have a salsa video. I have a ballerina performance arts. So that's all coming out too. Awesome. What's your uh, What's your YouTube channel? Madmix as well. Madmix okay. music. So it's easy to find. Yay. That's very good. <laughs> awesome. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm really looking forward to hearing what you do and we'll stay in touch. Maybe we'll do another one of these when you're in um, Serbia. That'd be great. Yeah. Thank let you, you get set. Me. Oh, absolutely. We'll, we'll let you get settled over there. For, for, I know yeah. that's a, that's a pretty big move. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm ready for it now. <laughs> yeah. That's exciting. All right. Thank you so much, Una. Thank you, Greg. Awesome. Matters with Daryl Craig Harris. Thanks for joining us and catch you next time.